Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. This time it's for the iPad and we're doing picture in a picture. Let's get started. First, let's create a new project by tapping on that plus sign there. We're going to do a movie, tap on that. Now you're in the media pool, so grab some clips that you'd like to use for your picture in a picture. And the first thing I'm going to do is add one or two things to our timeline. So let's grab a couple media clips by tapping on the ones you want. Once you're finished selecting those videos, go ahead and tap create movie at the bottom. Okay, so iMovie pulled in those videos and dropped them right into your timeline here. And we have one video and one image. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and expand the timeline here by using a pinch to zoom in the dark gray area. What that does is it allows me to see more of the clip, but it doesn't change the length of the movie itself. Alrighty, to do picture in a picture, in iMovie on the iPad, we're going to go ahead and tap on that plus sign on the top right corner. Go ahead and do that. What this is going to do is it's going to expose your media on the left side, top left side. So what I'm going to do first is I'll try a photo. I'm going to go ahead and do picture in a picture of a photo. So let's go to the photo section. I'm going to go to recently added. And I'm going to grab this truck here. And from this point, to do picture in a picture, you're going to have to tap on those three ellipses, those three dots there. So go ahead and do that. And to do picture in a picture, go ahead and tap picture in a picture. But if you wanted to do cutaway, split screen, or any green screen or blue screen, you could go ahead and tap those. But that's another tutorial for another time. Let's get into it by tapping on picture in a picture. So what iMovie is going to do is it's going to drop your image or video to where your scrubber is in the timeline. Okay, so we were right there and now you can see there's a picture in a picture. To move this clip around, if you didn't hit that right spot, go ahead and tap and hold. And then iMovie will allow you to move it wherever you'd like it to go. Okay. If you want to change the length of time that that image is on the screen, go ahead and tap on it and you can bring it in a little bit. Or if you want to make it longer, you can bring it out all the way up to you. And again, tap and hold if you need to move it to wherever you'd like it to be. Okay. So that's how you actually set the length of it and to actually set the position of it. Okay. Now let's customize the look and feel of that image right there. Move it around a little bit. So what you're going to do is tap on that clip. And at the right side of the video editing window, we have a magnifying glass with a plus. We have a plus with some arrows on it and we have a rectangle. So starting from the bottom, the rectangle is actually the border. You can turn it on and off by tapping on it. The middle plus with the arrows, tap on that to activate it. Now you can move this around and you can pinch to zoom to resize any, any size you'd like. We'll tap to deselect. And the top one, the magnifying glass with the plus in it, if you tap on that, what this allows you to do is edit the image within the square. So the properties of the rectangle won't change, but the image inside will. You'll notice when we resize, the image gets larger, but within the constraints of the actual box itself. Okay. There we go. And then you tap again to deselect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the plus again. I'm going to make it bigger and kind of move it around. Maybe I want it right on the corner here. Okay. And then we'll tap again to deselect. Okay. So that's basically how you edit the look and feel of an image in a picture in a picture. Now the video acts pretty much exactly the same, but let's go ahead and demonstrate that here. So I'm going to move my video to a different place in the timeline. I'm going to go back to my photos, back to my media. I'm going to go to video. And then I'm going to tap recently added. You can get the video wherever you want. And I'll just get any random clip here. We're going to tap on those ellipses again, those three dots. And we're going to select picture in a picture. Again, iMovie will drop it exactly where you had that scrub or your tape head there. And now you can tap here. And don't forget, you can actually edit the video itself in the upper timeline, in that second layer, in that picture in a picture layer. So you could do a split, you could speed up, you could slow down, you could turn the volume on or off. All the same editing you can do in iMovie, you can pretty much do on that top picture in a picture. 
Let's go ahead and shrink the length of the video here. Let's go ahead and tap and hold. And again, you can move it around to where you need it to be. We're going to tap on it. Now we're going to go to those same commands on the right side, the top right. We got that border. You can turn on and off. You get that plus sign with the arrows. We can move this thing around. You can increase the size by pinching and zooming. And again, that top magnifying glass with the plus, it allows us to pinch and zoom within the constraints of the rectangle. So if I wanted to get close up to this guy and his dog on the paddleboard, we could do that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and tap to deselect. And now maybe you thought that image was too big. We can go ahead back in, tap on the middle, drag to position icon and shrink that just a little bit. Or maybe not, maybe put it over here. Well, whatever you need to do. Okay, well that's basically how you do the picture in a picture on the iPad using iMovie. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace and aloha. Aloha.